This is not kids being kept in cages. This is this is kids. This is a facility that was opened that's going to follow the same standards as other HHS facilities. After complaining endlessly about kids in cages during the Trump administration, Joe Biden is doing the same thing, but has given it a hip new rebrand. Now, there is a lot of nuance to this story. Um, I wish I could come out here. It'd be really easy to say, hey, look at Joe Biden being hypocritical. But there is a lot more to this story than just that. And what Joe Biden is doing here really, hopefully, opens up a conversation about what the actual problem was under Donald Trump, because it wasn't simply kids in cages, it was why they were there, which Joe Biden is not doing. So I will get to that. But first, this is, um, before I get to the clip of uh, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki discussing this, or defending this, this is uh, the story that came out from the Washington Post. First migrant facility for children opens under Biden. Now, if this were Trump, I mean, we've seen the headlines. Trump puts kids in cages, which is not wrong. This headline could also be kids in cages happening under Joe Biden. But yes, there is more nuance to this story. So let me first hear a uh, play for you. Jen Psaki, Biden's White House press secretary, defending the decision to open this migrant facility for children. It's the same facility that was open for a month in the Trump administration, summer 2019. That is when Joe Biden said, under Trump, there have been horrifying scenes at the border of kids being kept in cages. And Kamala Harris said, uh, basically, babies in cages is a human rights abuse being committed by the United States government. So how is this any different than that? We very much feel that way. Uh, and so the, these are facilities, let me, be, let me be clear here. One, there's a pandemic going on. I'm sure you're not suggesting that we have children right next to each other uh, in ways that are not COVID safe, are you? I'm suggesting that Kamala Harris said that this facility, putting people in this facility was a human rights abuse committed by the United States government. And Joe Biden said, under Trump, there have been horrifying scenes of border uh, at the border of kids being kept in cages. Now it's not under Trump; it's under Biden. This is not kids being kept in cages. But this is this facility. is kids. This is a facility that was opened that's going to follow the same standards as other HHS facilities. It is not a replication. Certainly not. The, that's that is never our intention of replicating the immigration policies of the past administration, but we are in a circumstance where we are not going to expel unaccompanied minors at the border. That would be inhumane. That is not what we are going to do here as an administration. We need to find places that are safe under COVID protocols for kids to be, where they can have access to education, health and mental services, consistent with their best interests. Our goal is for them to then uh, be transferred to families or sponsors. So this is our effort to ensure that kids are treated or not in close proximity and that we are abiding by the health and safety standards that uh, the government has been set out. All right. So it is no longer kids in cages, not cages, just a facility that was opened to house migrant children. Quite a rebrand. It's the exact same thing. Now, as I'll get to, and as I already said, this is not just a story about hypocrisy. It would be really easy for me to, to come out here and just say, hey, look at Joe Biden being hypocritical and then that be it. But there's a lot more to this story because there is a clear conflation here with family separation and kids in cages. Joe Biden is not doing family separation. Family separation, separating kids from their families at the border was the actual issue under Donald Trump. And also the question that comes up here, what do you do with these kids who arrive at the border without any parents or guardians. You have to put them in a facility until you find a place for them to go. So I'll get to all that in, in a minute here, but first so we're clear about what this story is about with this facility opening. As Camilo Montoya Galvez, CBS News immigration reporter, writes here, new, the rising number of migrant children taken into custody at the border in recent days has severely strained the U.S. government's ability to house them. 90% of 8,000 shelter beds are full. 1,500 children were apprehended last week. In January, the Refugee Office received more than 4,000 migrant children, compared to the 39 minors it placed in its shelters in May 2020, when the U.S. government was expelling most border crossers, regardless of their age, under a pandemic-related edict issued by the CDC. So, more than 4,000 migrant children 
in January compared to 39 in May. This is why they are opening this facility. Now, yes, it's basically kids in cages. And this facility was opened under Donald Trump to do the exact same thing. But the issue with Donald Trump wasn't kids in cages, even though Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, MSNBC, CNN, every mainstream outlet told you that kids in cages was the problem. And to be fair to them, it wasn't the only issue they brought up, but it was one of the issues. The actual issue being family separation, separating kids from their parents at the border. That is the actual issue. And Joe Biden is not doing that. So to be clear here on the hypocrisy of Joe Biden, this is back in July 2019. Biden tells lawmakers he would end detention of migrant children. Clearly, he's not doing that. So clear and obvious hypocrisy here. But we also have to be nuanced in our discussion here and compared to what Donald Trump was doing. This story from uh, October 2020, lawyers say they can't find the parents of 545 migrant children separated by Trump's administration. About two thirds of the 1000 plus parents separated from their kids under a 2017 pilot program was de were deported before a federal judge ordered that they be found. So this happened because of Donald Trump separating kids from their parents. This is the problem. Again, got to be fair. It's I mean, we have to be clear here when we're criticizing whoever about what the facts are. Fact. Joe Biden being a hypocrite. Fact, Trump's immigration policy, much worse. More on that from the Washington Post here. And here's the biggest point. Trump's policy on children at the border wasn't controversial merely because it resulted in children being held at the border, which is a long-standing reality and is what will happen at this facility. It was controversial because it forced children to be separated from their parents, given its hardline policy requiring the parents be held and not released into the country, and given that children couldn't be held with their parents. This, in effect, made for more children, often very young, that needed to be held alone, about 3,000 in total, beyond the unaccompanied minors who were often older who arrive. So the people that are, the children that are being held in this new facility, these are minors that are that come without any parents, unaccompanied minors. They're showing up at the border without any parents, any guardians. That's who's staying in these facilities. They are not separating parents from children like uh, the Trump administration did. Now, Darlin here tweets out, the Biden administration could be expelling these kids under the CDC order, as Trump admin did before court order stopped them. But after order was lifted, Biden chose not to resume kid expulsions. So this is another piece of it. Under the CDC order, Biden could be sending all of these kids back, but instead, to his credit, deciding to keep them in the country, find a place for them to stay, normally a, uh, a parent or, or, or a, a family member in the country is normally where these kids end up going, but if not, then maybe to foster parents or, or, or elsewhere. But there obviously here has to be a, you know, a, a window where that search is done. You can't just send these kids out and, and leave them on the street. Darlin here tweeting out again, that means when kids come without adult relatives, government has to house slash care for them while looking for a sponsor, usually relative in the US. And in recent years, the Office of Refugee Resettlement has been criticized for being too hasty with releases and allowing kids to be exploited as laborers as well as too slow. So you see here, this is the problem. They're both criticized for being too quick and too slow, too quick to send these kids away and as has been documented in the past, they end up in bad hands, like uh, being exploited by laborers or or and they are also too slow because they're not able to put these kids into a safe place quick enough. Now, both criticisms are fair, of course, and they should continue to be criticized and and, you know, journalists should continue watching this. But we also have to understand that this is not an easy situation. There is no clear answer here about what you do with kids who show up at the border without parents. There is not an obvious answer. So this is the policy that is currently in place. It is clearly an, an, uh, an imperfect policy. There are issues with it, but it's not an easy answer. So understand here um, what the differences are between what Biden is doing and what Trump is doing. 
Last thing here. Although the facility received much criticism under the Trump administration, Department of Health and Human Services spokesman Mark Weber said that children placed at the facility received good care, something that has not changed between administrations. Quote, if we could find another way, that'd be great, Weber said. On the flip side, these kids just come in and they're turned loose on the street. They end up being homeless kids. Permanent children migrant facilities are subject to state licensing requirements to ensure that children housed there receive proper treatment, something not required of temporary facilities like the newly reopened Carrizo Center. Weber said the facility would meet or exceed Texas licensing standards, though they are more expensive to operate than the permanent centers. So this, of course, is another issue here that has that, that needs ongoing um, oversight, the condition of these facilities. So because this is not a permanent facility, it's not under the sort of... Uh, you know, same standards as permanent facilities are. That said, their defense of that is saying that it's going to meet or exceed Texas licensing standards. Again, this is something that requires ongoing oversight by the media, which, um, as we've seen, media being generally a little less critical of Joe Biden right now compared to Trump. But this is an issue where not a whole lot has changed. So there needs to be ongoing oversight over how these facilities operate. Are the kids being treated well? Are they being found homes quick enough? And is not not too quick that they're being sent to people who are uh, not going to have their best interests in mind? So this is all stuff that has to be ongoing. But again, yes, just to summarize here, perfectly fair to point out Biden's obvious and clear hypocrisy about kids in cages while also acknowledging the obvious and clear differences between what Trump did and what Biden is doing.